So, food's put away and now it's time for tea. Um, I'm just going to show you, this is my desperation for my kitchen to... Look at this. This looks absolute carnage and I'm not going to lie, <laughs> it is a bit. To the naked eye, to anybody that's just come in, they'd be like, what the fuck? Um, but honestly, I've got plates there that I can access. My cleaner washes up and puts some of them there for me. I've got bread that I can get to there. There's pizzas, there's things. The bread bin, it's a bit hidden by the plates. It's got um, overspill of pasta and all that sort of stuff. I've got cupboard items there, like my mugs, um, some tins. Behind, right at the back there, you can just about see it peeking out. Um, and then these are bits that I'm using here now and I'm out of room out of room I mean my cleaner when she comes I mean she's like oh are you using these like the peg bag oh shall I move that up I'm gonna put that in a cupboard and I'm like no because that's there for me if I want to use it my cupboard space at the minute for all my jars and everything is in here I mean look at that and I struggle to get to the back of it and I'm having to put stuff at the front and I'm hoping that this is all going to be done soon and going to look so much easier to access. I've got in here on the pan, I've got my um, spicy kebab thing from um, <clears throat> Aldi, I'll show you. Careful with my plate on my lap. It's this one here the spiced kebab pieces I've no idea what it's like I'm hoping it's nice but I just thought let's give it a um, I did use one of these and it's upside down there we go from uh, Sainsbury's I can't remember what day it was I was supposed to leave it for two hours to defrost and I was like sub that I need it now I'm hungry um, so I just put it on defrost in the microwave and it came out a little bit warm but hey it was fine um, but yeah I've got I've got an upright freezer and it looks a bit full of all sorts and then behind the bin there I've got an under counter freezer and then I've also got a twizzle round Sorry. Under counter fridge. That is just absolutely useless for me because me being in my chair and oh my back issues um and all my arthritis in a lot of places. I can't use the very bottom of the fridge. Um so I've got like three shelves and it's all sort of crammed in here a bit but that is what I'm doing at the minute so I'm hoping when they do the kitchen that this will be so much easier for me to use hang on the plan is that this wall is going to come out they're going to knock that through all this here um, up to the chicken periods over there which are my son's nothing to do with me all this here will be gone as well and that will be where my my freezer is my upright freezer and then I'm going to have an, um, a fridge freezer as well so I'll be able to get in and access everything this is my son's, it was mine but he did pinch it for his stuff and I thought I'm not putting my stuff in with his no way when i went vegan that was it it was like we're having separate freezers and fridges he was like that's fine <laughs> i understand totally so oh let me just sort this pan out a minute before we have fire um so yeah oh we did let that off perfect there we are just show you it is okay it scares me so much because i've got nowhere to put anything 
everything is high up. I could stand, but it's like it's like standing on knives, and my entire feet, my back kills me straight away. So I can't. I can stand for about five seconds, and then it's like no, no, no. I need to sit. So that's the plan. That's food. Um, but I am absolutely desperate for this all to be done now. I hope you can hear me over the top of the dryer. The dryer is a really clanky, noisy thing. It's right at the end, actually. There we go, silent. Um, yeah, I've sent... Hang on, let me turn you around. I'm sure you want to see the sight of my uh, draining board and, <laughs> and my dryer. Um, yeah, I've sent three messages now to the lady that's in charge of my... Um, housing needs and the grants and all that and uh, I'll continue I'll be sending them on a daily basis until she's fed up with me and she's going I can't take any more I'll do it I'll get it done now <laughs> you know um, yeah I'm at the top of the chain but it's just waiting on the uh, the powers that be to just get the finger out and just do it now um, they have done all the um, surveying reports of the the building and to check everything's safe before they take a wall out and have um, the whole building collapse or something. Um, so yeah, um, but it's just getting the finger out to just get it done. So this section, so this section here is going to be my food prep area so this will be gone imagine <laughs> no Gianni oh he was gorgeous at strict uh, we saw him at uh, his own show and I had meet and greet with my mom and we were like oh he was amazing he gave the best hugs by the way um so yeah so this surface area will be lower so then I'll be able to get in with my chair and I'll be able to do like meal prepping and put my plate on it and be able to actually um, put a meal together and I can put my kettle there and all that sort of stuff so it's all more practical for me I can't wait um, but it's just waiting on a date now a phone call for somebody to just get the finger out and go do you know what we can come and do this for you next week or Friday or whatever but I need a date so I've got someone to help um sorry so i've got someone to help you know get everything shipped out because otherwise i don't want my cleaner turning up on one day and then finding that the next day after she's cleaned that they're coming to send brick dust throughout the flat because once they start it it's going to be a big mess it's going to be a lot of dust everywhere and i've got to make sure the cats are secure and oh my god it's just horrendous so uh, anyway, I just thought I'd do a little bit of a vlog, seeing as I'm, I'm looking for a fork and it's on my plate, just to shuffle it all around. Well, that's soon cooked through, so I'll try a bit as it is. I'm a bit scared to do this because sometimes I don't like it and I think, I've got to eat it now. It's nice. It's nice. It's a little bit cold in the middle. But we are getting there. Ooh. I don't know if they still stop this. If they do, I'll be getting some more. That's if I've got freezer space. I'm trying to buy things in that help me out the most. And I'm sort of trying to stockpile up vegetables and things and just have a bit of a rethink with some of my food. But, um, yeah. So anyway, I shall get on with prepping this and everything. Or should I put you down somewhere and just chit-chat whilst, whilst it's all going on? I don't know. Shall I do some mushrooms? If I put you, where shall I put you? Put you there. There we go. That's not too bad, is it? 
Right, I'm going to put my mushrooms in. I have got a knife. There we go. Let's just do it. Good job you can't see me chopping because my fingers get very in the way. Um, oh, nearly had them then. I'm no good at it. The Arthritis Society suggests one of those, I think it's called medulla. Um, yeah, medulla knives. They look like a, a saw. Hmm. And they're so much easier, apparently. Um, let me try and don't drop it. Mm. <gasps> oh, I need to burn myself. Mm. I did. Thankfully. I just caught the end of the mat of a pan. Um, so I'm gonna do a bit of leaf. So I've got some left from the little jam. There we have it. <clears throat> um, <laughs> so I'm looking at me doing my vlog from the whole room. In the flats, to the long shoe up there. Who's she talking to? Mm. Oh, they're nice tomatoes. Very nice tomatoes. And um, Let me just do this as carefully as I can. And let's just do a bit of zipping this around a bit. I've got a bit of water in there just to steam on a bit. Because I do get a bit scared of oil and stuff. Um, cucumber. I don't know how much you can say from there, but the positioning is a bit out, but I do apologise. I just wish they wouldn't put all this plastic around the cucumber. I need you back. There you go. That's a bit better, isn't it? <laughs> so, I'm not very good at this. Right, oh, man. at least the cucumber's nice and flesh looking. I'm rubbish at this. Um, I haven't had cucumber for such a, a long time. I don't buy salady stuff enough. I need to get in the habit. Right. Mm. I don't think I need the peppers. But a couple of radish and that's me going for it. This is really hard on my hands. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Turn that pan on for a sec. Oh. Uh. Be careful. Yeah, I've got a special knife that's for arthritis people. It's great. It's really good. I do like my dish. Remember, <clears throat> my delightful ex, that was my last, he hated the smell of radish. 
<laughs> they may be smaller than you thought. Mm. Nice, right. Vegetables prepared. I'm going to leave the pack. I don't think I need it. I've got enough. Um, these are those wraps. I've got four there. That'll do. Now then. Now then. What shall I do? I need a pot or something. I bet my cleaners moved them out the way. Yeah. She's lovely, don't get me wrong, but she does do my Sweden sometimes. Um, yeah, she does. Right, I've got, I'm going to have to do it just as it is, I think. Let me put these back one second. Before I forget. Um, I need cheese now. No, I've got enough. This fridge is horrendous because it gets really damp easy because all the wet comes down and onto the food. Vile. So all the vegetables, I can't put anything at the top. Um, although I'm going to have to do it with this one. Uh, in the cheese box. But it is horrible. I'm going to put that lettuce there. Uh, radishes, where can you go? I need. I've got that. Uh, I've got not much room for anything in this fridge, it's shit. I want a decent fridge. Right then. So there's the wraps, I'm just going to chuck them up there. You are supposed to, I think. Um, you're supposed to. Uh, I forget now. Yeah, you're supposed to put them in the oven or something, I think. This does look a bit cremated, but it's totally fine. There we have it. Looks rather good, actually, and I'm just going to plate it. Well, no, I'm going to do my sauce. I know what I'm going to use. I'm improvising right now. God, I've got such a bad itch. Um, right, I'm going to use this spoon. I'm going to use this pot that's had me Warburton, not me Warburton's, <laughs> got Warburton's on the brain, the old El Paso fajita things. I'm going to put this up there for a sec. It should be fine. There's been no heat around it. I'm going to improvise. So I'm going to make my sauce. Yeah, just getting on my work. Let's turn this into a makeshift pot. So I'm going to use the Alt Pro Greek style plane. My head just forgets sometimes what I'm going to say. It just completely goes wrong. Um, yeah. We'll try a bit first, as it is. Do you know what? That tastes okay. It doesn't taste much, but it's just sweet. Right, I think that's a bit much, but what the hell. I like that. Hmm. Could just put that with a bit of fruit and it's going to be really nice. Um, so there's your mint sauce. I do need to get some more to be honest because this is just rubbish. It's just watery and mm. it's got no oh, it's got no substance to it whatsoever. It is the smart prize one. So you can't expect an awful lot. But 
And that's it. That's all you do is just that and mint. You can put, actually, you can put cucumber in, which I've already got chopped up. So there we have it. My rat up dip. That looks so good. I'm going to try it. Mmm. And that's it. It's quite literally what it says. Yogurt and mint. All right. Let's put the mint sauce back. I need to get some bread, a better one. This has just got like, it's just like vinegarized mint. But it's just really, I always forget. I switch my controller off on my hand, on my um, power chair. I do it every time. Because sometimes when I'm doing the makeup, I lean on it and I send myself flying. Um, so I switch it off. Um, and if I don't turn it off, then it goes very wrong for me. Especially if I've got a cat on my lap and they decide to send me forward. I've got some um, avocado, but... I think I'll leave it. I've got enough here, I think. Right, so what I'm going to do, put it back, and hopefully I won't lose it. But this is pretty good. Easy cooking. I'm just going to whack it on. There's enough there for two people, to be fair, but I don't know how much you want to use. But what an idea that was. Good thinking. And then you just blend it together so it all combines. And then I'm going to chuck it in these wrap things. Pockets, I don't know. I'm no good at... <laughs> My descriptions are so vague. Um, and then I'm going to get it up. I hope this is good. If it's worth the faff. Oh, I so need a care person to give me a hand with stuff. I keep thinking, oh, I'll get one. It's just so expensive at the minute. I've just had to sort. I know I'm sorting the cats out and their food. So look at that. Shall I try one? Mmm. That is actually really good. Mm. That is tasty. Mm. Right. <clears throat> I do need a car person to help me out. Just to do me a few jobs. Um Towards the end of the week, um, I do, I need someone to help me out because I'm really struggling. Um, so I'm going to start the ball rolling for that, I think. Oh, I can't pick this up. You know, my hands just do not want to play. All right, let's chuck that in there. Hmm. Tasty. I'm going to give this a cross. So yeah, I highly recommend <clears throat> if you are um, Aldi way, have a look and see if they've got these. I think it's something like one ninety nine a box. And it's just really, really good. But the thing to be mindful is, is that obviously um, they class that sort of thing, I think, as seasonal. Non-vegans will eat that sort of shit all year round, but 
not us vegans, we eat it. Only um, once in a while, don't we? We eat it in the summer and that is it. We don't have kebabs any other time. Mm. So it's like coleslaw and everything else. We don't eat that sort of stuff all year round, quiches and that. A lot of things are going to disappear now. Because we are at the end of August and once we are back at, kids are back at school, um, we're in Christmas mode, aren't we? Everybody, the shops are like just geared up for Christmas. So just be mindful, you're not going to be able to get it or you can get it at a reduced price um, because they'll want to make way for all the dead bodies that are going to appear in the freezer section. Um, although they have promised that we are to have more lines. And the one thing I want to get, if they have that beef, the vegan beef joint in again, I'm going to be buying it in my droves, I tell you, because it was amazing. And the steaks that they had. Oh, it's fantastic. Mm. I had a couple that were sitting in the fridge in the freezer that had never been used. And I regret not buying it. So yeah. As soon as those lines are in the shops I shall be. Mm. diving in now this is the end bits that won't fit in the so i'm just eating this quick but it's beautiful mm. Mm. so that'd be good as a good pasta sauce even over the top cold pasta Mmm, nice. Right. Mmm. Right. Let me show you it now. Twizzle right. There we go. So there we have it. Tea for this evening. Kebabs. Fajitas, whatever you want to call them. Tasty. That was really good. I definitely recommend doing that for a sauce. It's just wool. And yeah, that would be good. That dressing over a pasta salad. Um, yeah. It's giving me ideas now. So anyway, I shall love and leave. Thank you for your time, listening, watching, likes and all the rest of it. Give us a comment if you fancy. <laughs> leave me a nice one though, please. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you all soon. Shall I put the light on at the last? Here we go. That's what it looks like with a bit of flash on. Does it look better now? <laughs> Right, anyway, I shall love and leave. Thanks for watching and see you again soon. Bye.